The 43 inaugural Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine students were invited to dine at a Miami Gardens restaurant after a bus tour of the North Dade neighborhoods they will be working with as part of the Neighborhood Help Program. There they were welcomed by founding dean, Dr. John Rock. We, what we need to really understand is how, the, how we, through medical education and through the facilitation of health care, can realize the dream of a system that's humanistic, that is culturally sensitive, and that is devoted to preventing health care, not just treating the sick, but helping folks remain healthy, and if they're unlucky to get sick, to be able to work with the community so that all of us work together to help one another get better. Dr. Herbert Wertheim, for whom the college was named after, discussed the importance of the Neighborhood Help Program. So what you do as a student and what you do every day then goes into your adult life or into your professional life. Uh, and so when you finally graduate, then you have this background of being able to help communities. When I first was in practice, there wasn't Medicare and Medicaid, and when patients would come in to see me and they didn't have any money, they would sometimes bring me avocados or chickens, or they come from Homestead. So we did these things at no cost. And I think uh, Dr. Rock's explanation is it can't come down to dollars and cents to create good health care. Dr. Greer, who was recently awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, also addressed the students. And our profession needs to change. I don't know when it came about in my country when it became socially acceptable that a doctor would not see somebody because they didn't have insurance. That's immoral, it's unethical, and it's not going to be permitted, and the students know that. And everybody's going to be taken care of. The bus tour that preceded the dinner was part of the Medicine and Society Ethics course and the first week of classes for the inaugural students. We have to be part of the solution. We've got to start thinking about working together as a community to make a difference. And then Joe tells me again and again, we're going to change the world. I said, well, you know, let's just, let's just work in the United States. You know? <laughs> if we can just make a difference in South Florida, if we can make a difference and set a standard for the rest of the country.